Good day to you. We've taken quite the path as we pursued a critical examination of social media in this class and the use of social media. And along the way, I know that while we have been examining the research and the research that's on top of other research and the author's own particular interpretation of that research into a critical theory framework, that you as well have had your own ideas in this class as you've thought about social media in ways that are not talked about from the standpoint of political economy, etc. So with this last assignment for class, the final discussion response, discussion response 12, I've decided to open it up and to allow you that chance to make a post using your own analysis. I posted the question on D2L. So you can check out that question and in the same amount of wordage, 190 to 210 words has been the case for all of our discussion posts or all your discussion posts. I want you to answer the question. I want you to really give it a lot of thought to really get inside the mindset of a person who is doing what I'm asking you to respond to in the discussion post. So that'll be your final discussion post plus your discussion reply will that your final one is taking place today as well. Now let's move over to the last thing I want to cover in my last instructor video, and that's to talk about your vi project viral analysis paper, which you know that I have extended to 1 p.m. on the 6th of August. And tomorrow, I'm opening up class, class time, for you to talk with me about that paper if you want to. If you don't have a lot of experience writing research papers, if you're a little bit unsure as to how to incorporate literature into the paper and the literature review, specifically a lot of students still struggle with that even by the time they're juniors or seniors <clears throat> i'm more than happy to help you tomorrow during my office hours which are 12 to 1 p.m so please schedule those with marina cameron and if i need to go later in the day i can meet with you later in the day after one o'clock as well but we'll start with 12 o'clock for those of you who need the help for those of you who don't the assignment is posted on d2 under the content tab and it has several sections to it this is a research paper this is a research-based class that's why when we talk about media and we analyze it, we don't just spout off our own personal opinions. We base it on theory. We base it on quantitative research. We base it on explanations that have a solid foundation to them and go quite deep. That's what we're doing in this class, and that's what you should be doing in this final analysis paper. You're analyzing your project. You're not a gung-ho, rah-rah person. You're an academic researcher who's looking at how well your project performed. But you need to find metrics that are based in research literature that talk about how you can judge whether a viral media project was in fact viral. And so that's what this paper asks you to do. I'll let you read over the details on your own and see if you have any questions about it for us to meet tomorrow. If not, you're off on your own and running. And if I don't end up talking to you before the end of the semester, I want to thank you for your work. There has been some absolutely outstanding thinking in this class, and it has been an utter privilege to read some of your insights and compile them into my own thinking. Have a great rest of the summer.